In this session, we talk about tuple relation calculus. Tuple relation calculus is different from relational algebra. In relational algebra, we have tables, right? Here, we will have tuples. But you know, of course, tuple relation calculus also is going to write, otherwise solve a lot of problems. So, tuple relation calculus is equivalent to relational algebra. So, we will see the details later. So, what is tuple relation calculus is? So, here we write queries in the form of first order logic formulas and t is a tuple. We know what is tuple, right? It is a row. t is a tuple variable. Then we say that this tuple variable is our answer. Otherwise, this kind of tuple variables are our answer if that tuple variable satisfy a formula. So, this is general structure of any tuple relation calculus. Simple. T where f of t is satisfied. What is the formula? I will give you one example of formula. After that, we will see formal definition of what is formula. Example of formula is this one. So, see here. I want to print all the tuples of sailors. S is a sailor tuple. See, I am ensuring here. Why it is sailor tuple? Because S belongs to sailors table. So, this is called formula. If I write this formula, what happens is, so whenever a tuple belongs to sailors, then we take it. It is like collecting, it is a bag. We are forming the bag with tuples. What kind of tuples? Whenever a tuple satisfies this relation, otherwise this formula, right? So, S whenever belongs to sailors, that tuple if you take, what are you taking then? All the sailors, right? So, similarly, if I write another condition like this, I am going to collect all the tuples S where that tuple belongs to sailors and its rating S dot rating equal to 10. So, what happens? Then we are collecting every tuple, each and every tuple whenever this formula is satisfied. For that tuple should be sailor, tuples rating should be 10. In that way, we use column field, you see. Every tuple will have columns, right? So, that we can mention like this. In uh, some other textbooks, they have mentioned this syntax s of rating both are same okay so tuples rating can be mentioned like this otherwise here okay so this is a rough idea about tuple relation calculus formulas now we'll see what is you know formal definition of formula we are going to use three atomic formulas first atomic formula is nothing but which cannot be further divided so three basic formulas we use one is r belongs to relation here relation is nothing but a table example s belongs to sailors writing like this so, this is atomic formula. Okay. Whenever you write like this, it is a atomic formula. Second kind of formula we can write is comparison of two columns. Right. So, example, you can write like this. S dot, let us say S is sailor. Then S dot rating equal to some another table R dot rating in that way. You might be comparing two tuples ratings. For that, we use this atomic formula. So, column versus column. Sir, what is this op? Op is nothing but a relational operator. We know that what are the relational operators? We know one is less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to and equal to, not equal to. Only these operators we have to put here. Anything you can put. So, this is about atomic formula. Now, I mean sorry, second atomic formula. Third atomic formula is column value R dot A operator any of that 6 or 7 versus constant. Example, this one you see, S dot rating equal to 10 comes in this model. All these are all atomic model, atomic formulas. Okay. Now, we will see what is formula. So far, we have seen just atomic formula. It is one of the model of our structure of the formula. We have some other structures. So, what is general formula I am going to tell you. So, your formula can be any atomic formula. Already you know what is atomic formula, right? So, any atomic formula is a formula. Second one, when you have two formulas, we know that in logic we have seen already what is formula, right? So, same kind of thing. When you have two formulas, combining them using and, otherwise or, otherwise implication is a formula. So, and when you have a formula, negating it is a formula. That means negation of a formula is formula. It is so simple, right? Next, third one, how to generate a third kind of formula is, so there exists one R such a way that formula of R, here P of R is a formula, okay? So, formula which is having r as a variable. So, when you write there exists r formula that is a formula. The final kind of formula is for all r formula. So, here p of r is a formula with r as a tuple variable. So, example I will show you there exists r p of r kind of formula. See like this. There exists one s. Okay. So, such a way that 
PFR. Let me write PFR like this. We know how to write PFR, right? There exists one tuple S such that S belongs to sailors. See now. So, how it is related to this one we will see. There exists R, this part. PFR, this one. PFR is what? Formula where R is involved. Here it is a P of S kind of thing, right? Where S is involved. That's it. So simple. So, what is the meaning of this one? We will see later. First, try to understand that this is also one more way of writing the formula. The final model of formula is for every R, R is a tuple variable. For every tuple variable, a formula. So, that means example I can write like this. For every R belongs to, I mean for every R, so P of R. P of R can be written like this. R belongs to reserves. Maybe like this. So, this is a formula here, right? So, these are the only formulas we have. Let's summarize. So, finally, tuple relational calculus is nothing but writing a formula and whenever a formula is satisfied by a tuple T, then we are going to print T. Especially, this T has to be free variable and only free variable in the formula. I will tell you what is free variable and bonded variable. Of course, whoever studied already first order logic, they might be having this idea. But for new people, let's say, let me introduce what is free variable, only free variables. Okay. So, what I said, T is the only free variable. Okay. Now, what is any formula? How to write a formula? First of all, learn how to write atomic formulas. One is R belongs to table. Second one, comparing two column values. Third one, comparing a column value with a constant. All are known as atomic formulas. After that, any formula. Any formula is nothing but an atomic formula. Second one, combining two formulas. Third one, there exists R formula for all R formula. That's it. These are the only models we are going to write. Okay. So, I was talking about formula, right? So, this one is nothing but this thing. So, all these models are nothing but formula of T. Now, let's finish it. So, we are going to write T such a way that F of T in throughout the this tuple relation calculus. So, this F of T should be a formula. So, where this formula can be, I mean, either one of them. And especially, T should be only free variable. Now, let's introduce what is free variable and bonded variable. In a formula, free variable is a variable which is not associated with there exist R and for all R. Remember it. If any variable is not attached with there exist R, otherwise for all R, then we say that formula is uh, sorry, that variable is called free variable. If any variable is attached with there exist, otherwise for all, we say that is bonded. Now, come to this one. In our uh, template, otherwise, you know, in a query form, your tuple T, which is going to be printed, should be free variable. And only free variable, all others should be bonded. Example, we will see here. So, this is what your S, right? So, you are printing S. So, did I write there exist X? No, I did not write there exist and for all. So, that's why S is called free variable. That's why I used it and I printed. That means S is eligible to be printed. So, it is, you know, having this kind of structure. T should be free variable. Here S is a free variable because S is not at all attached with there exist or for all. That's it. Okay. Now, we will see how to write queries with these formulas. So, it's an art. So, you can learn by, you know, observing some of the examples. What I do is, I take some examples and I try to write the formulas for them. So, if you follow them automatically, you will, you know, learn how to write the formulas. That's it. Okay. So, let's begin writing the queries itself.